Hey everybody, now we need to put up the rest of the walls to complete our raised bed and to actually be able to hold some soil into the thing. So let's get on with that. I know I want my wall to be 21 and a half inches away from my back wall. More on why later. But I took that measurement down the length of my wall to make sure that both walls are parallel. I then stacked another section of the front wall on top of the first one and took measurements one foot from each end of the board and also to the very middle of the board. I then used that measurement as the location to drill a hole all the way through both boards. Here I'm using a one half inch spade bit. I then took a one half inch by four foot section of rebar and with a sledgehammer pounded that rebar through the wood and down into the soil. I also wanted to make sure that I'm leaving about four inches of the rebar up above the top of this section of the wall. I then took measurements, uh, double checked my measurement for the rebar and using some masking tape marked on my drill bit about four and a half inches. Uh, with my spade bit now marked, I drilled into the third section, the top section of the wall, but only down to this four and a half inch mark. I then used that board as the cap for the rebar and using another piece of wood as protection so I don't damage my actual raised bed garden and a little bit of help from the oldest son. Uh, we pounded this top board into place. It took a few minutes, but we finally got it there. So that is set there. We then added in small sections to the end. Here you can see that the very bottom section is cut at a nice angle to give a bit of a rounded section off from where you come off the deck. And the top two sections are just squared off going right back to the back retaining wall. Now, one of these pieces of rebar was a little bit bent. So, with a bit of help from the missus, we just pushed that sucker into place where it needed to be and used these six inch bolts to hold the walls together. We then repeated that uh, on the second side and again, bolted all of those into place. Simple. Okay, now we have the entire raised bed built. We've got the box and we just need to fill it, but we are gonna fill it in a very specific way. So make sure that you subscribe and follow the playlist so that you can catch up and see how we finish off getting this ready to actually be planted in. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.